going on you gorgeous buggers and welcome back to the channel where today we're getting back to a good old fashioned rant like we used to do. Now if this content isn't for you, don't click on it. I totally understand, but if I don't do content that I used to enjoy and that I still enjoy, I would probably tip myself over the edge and lose me bloody marbles. So, what are we talking about today? Well, unfortunately, it is more YouTube drama. And I'm gonna give you my honest and frank opinion about this, and I think it is a load of bloody bollocks. So, if you've not heard, or if you've not heard of a guy called Shane Dawson, which I'll be very surprised if you haven't, but it's come out yesterday that he's been accused of being a paedophile. Instantly, you have your usual bloody sheep of the internet jumping on the bandwagon when there is zero proof to put this horrible bloody accusation against another human being. I mean, it does my bloody tits in because people love to just drag somebody down just because it's a headline and everybody's getting involved and the headline gains traction because it's a big scandal. But there's no evidence about this bloody accusation and it's absolutely vulgar. So basically how it all started was a video was released yesterday going back I think six years where Shane Dawson done a, pod a podcast. Now, look, Shane Dawson is his marmite. You love him or you hate him. Now, he was never my cup of tea, but by God did he put effort into YouTube and he absolutely blew up. And to be fair, I haven't heard of him for a couple of years. And then I seen this allegation, I was like, bloody hell, what the bloody hell's going on here? So I checked out his channel and the guy is still smashing it. So of course, he's a target, a big YouTube sensation and people just want to drag him down. But anyway, we're going off subject again because I'm really riled up over this. So a video came out yesterday, which was a podcast he done over six years ago, where he did admittedly make some ridiculous, now I say the word strongly, jokes. He made some horrendous jokes about looking at naked babies, googling naked babies, which he never done. He said that he's never done it. It was part of a joke. But all the important parts of that podcast, which made it obvious that he was making Terrible jokes, terrible being the key word, but they were jokes. All the key parts where it makes sense that, okay, he's making jokes there that just aren't funny and they're, they're, they're pushing the boundaries. They cut all that out and they literally just had Shane Dawson talking about things that sounded as though he was looking up children, calling children beautiful and all this shite. If you listen to the original podcast, it's clearly a joke. I've got kids myself. And Jesus Christ, if I thought the guy was seriously a bloody paedophile, I would be slamming him down to the bloody ground. But no, I would defend somebody who has been slandered for no bloody reason whatsoever. Also, it gets better. Honestly, it gets better. So, they also shown some more proof of that he's a paedophile because they've shown his ex-girlfriend and his current boyfriend and they both look young. Can you believe it? What a paedophile. His exes look young. Well, one of his exes looks young and his current boyfriend looks young. Oh, definite paedophile. God forbid you're lucky enough to find a missus or a boyfriend that looks bloody younger than you. Fucking hell, that sounds like the bloody jackpot to me. It doesn't make you a bloody paedophile. Fucking hell, I can't believe. Do you know what? I sat through his video yesterday, Shane Dawson's video. He uploaded a video defending himself against these accusations. And do you know how awkward I felt for the lad? It's absolutely ridiculous. Because one shitty video with no proof went viral. It's pathetic. And this poor guy has to come out and say his name and paedophile in the same sentence defending himself. And the worst thing is, we are... Like, he had no he had no option. He had to come out and say those words to all, all millions of followers. Because if not, he'll get slammed for not talking about it and trying to sweep it under the carpet. Oh Christ boys, this YouTube shit is just gone beyond a joke. I mean before all this, he was he was not back for being homophobic. He's bloody gay! He's got nothing against himself, surely! More stupid accusations. Yes, the guy made 
stupid bloody jokes going back years ago. That, that was his thing. His thing was to shock people and making shitty jokes like this. But don't tell me 99% of you people watching haven't made jokes amongst your close friends that were close to the board. Do you know what I mean? We all make really stupid, horrendous jokes at times that push the barrier, but he done it in public. That was his one mistake. Just because just you say something doesn't mean you are something. Words do not define how you, what you are as a person. It's ridiculous. Anyway, I'm really eager to get your boy's opinion on this because it, it, you don't realise how much it annoys me to see people jumping on the bandwagon just for the sake of it. I've, I, I've witnessed it so many times. People will just see a comment and jump on it and start commenting the same thing. Even though if they know nothing about it. There'll be people going on his videos now and seeing, calling him all sorts of things. Just because they've heard it. It's fucking stupid. People are assholes. The internet is full of assholes. Who are just waiting for an opportunity to drag somebody down. Instead of helping. Don't worry about helping somebody. Nah. Unfortunately, the majority of people over the internet are just waiting, sitting back like little pricks, just waiting to just drag somebody down. It's a nasty bloody place and it, it really does piss me off. So, as I say, let me know your, what you think of all this down below, uh, whether you think it's absolute rubbish, because that's all it is. It's just rubbish. And anyone with half a brain cell that listens to both clips and I'm not defending the jokes he made, but they are jokes. There's so many comedians out there that make, like famous comedians on stage making jokes about gay people, about, uh, about rape and things like that. Disgusting jokes. But they don't get called rapists just because they make, they don't get called homophobes. They just get called plunkers because they are plunkers making stupid jokes about touchy subjects like that. But that's it. That's where the line is drawn. They are terrible jokes. They're, they're not good jokes. They're, they're just jokes. Doesn't make you something. If you make a gay joke, it doesn't make you a homophobe. If you make a rape joke, it doesn't make you a rapist. It just makes you silly. It makes you stupid. You need to think before you do these things. We all learn. It's a learning curve for everybody. And the sad thing is, this happened six years ago. And Shane Dawson, you can tell by his content, has grown from there. And he's a completely different person now. But six years on, some plonkers edited a video to make it look bad. And it's coming back to haunt him now. If it had happened six years ago as soon as he'd done it, you'd somewhat go, all right, well, he's said these jokes, he needs to defend himself. Not six years on. Jam babbling on here, boys. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And um, I hope things turn around and I hope this doesn't drag him down. I hope it turns out positive for him because he does do a lot of work um, behind the scenes. I know he's done that as well to try and help people that have been abused as kids as well. So don't bring somebody down that's trying to make a difference and do a good thing. Smash a like, boys. Sub if you're new and I'll talk to you all next time. Take care. Cheerio.